Hey! Oh, making sure my microphone's turned on. There we go. We've got, uh, I'm out of food. Magic, I'm out of food. So how's that for fun? And, uh, wouldn't you know it, there's a blizzard. So, I guess with that, uh, well-fed bonus, you know, difficult to get, easy to lose. Because, yeah, I need, I need food. Sewing kit, here, we'll pick that up. Last night, Slip Gear and Loons were like, hey, your sewing kit, turkey. Because I don't have the wood uh, to make a T to keep the bonus, so I'm kind of yes. screwed, kind of, just, you know, I got one stick, a couple of books and a stick. I'm not going to be able to make anything decent out of that for a fire for length of time that I need to, say, turn around and break down something else, right? So that I can continue. Uh, 162 calories, I have 136 calories. I mean, I could try, you know, why, why not try? Stove, start fire. We're going to go with that. Hey, how's it going, Dave? Didn't want to keep you up too late. I had a, had a plan to start a, yeah, about an hour ago, but my head was just a pound, and I had to wait for uh, wait for the Advil to kick in. I don't even have a good good drinking story to go with my uh, horrible headache. Let's see. Throw this stick on. Okay. All right. We're gonna. Extinguish that, holster it, and throw a pot on. Can I cook some rose hips? Or how about some coffee? Or tea? Tea. We'll go with tea. Ten minutes. Okay. In the meantime, I'm just trying to keep that old, uh, the old man's beard bonus. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the, uh, that well-fed bonus going. That's, that's what I'm up to. Nothing to do with old man's beard bonus. Okay, let's drink that. It'll give us some calories. I mean, Kimyota did a did a did a an entire run on on tea. I, I I'm sure I can I'm sure I can pull something off. Look at those calories just going up. Uh, we'll do the rose hips. They're cheaper than the other tea. Oh, actually what I should do is this inventory and make some more birch bark. That's right. At two o'clock, you've got a. Should I? Should I? Should I DJ it? I think there's another pot over here. No, there isn't. I'd like to call it DJ when you have more than one. And you're do 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 do. You know, that's twenty minutes. Okay, so we have. I can do this guy, and actually, we should put some more water on. All right, break down the crate. Back into the red. Add fuel, throw on a reclaimed. I'm starving. Starving, I know, I'm trying to stop that from happening. Uh, can we throw on something while we wait? You betcha. All right, inventory, let's get into it. Birch bark, let's make one. Yari, how's it going, bud?
And yeah, even if I'm not doing a second one, it's a good idea to have at least water going. Thanks, magic. Because if you've ever seen somebody thrown off, it's me when a blizzard decides to just show up unannounced. Share is 39, but you get three. That is nice. Okay, let's get another. Let's get another birch on. Get some chop up this last crate. Throw that on there. 37 minutes. Not enough to break down that uh, that ch that chair, but it is enough to throw another herbal on. I can grind up mushrooms too. There's enough time to come over here and grab this crate, which is beating the living. N hey, it's past. How's it going, bud? <laughs> Two cooked pots and a microphone. Pass knows where it's at. Pass knows where it's at. Oh my god. Ah, uh, good to see you. All right, let's. Uh, Better out than in. All right, um, melted. Okay, do I have enough? This thirty-nine minutes for three. You're no shelf. You're no. You're no bench. I think we're good. I'm either gonna starve or I'm not. I'm just being stubborn. That's enough for a water. Yeah. And there goes the blizzard. At least, in my mind, there goes the blizzard. Why am I passing time? I should be making birch and mushrooms. We'll put that guy on and make him mushrooms. Hey, look at that cooking just going down here with some teas. You are the best at making tea. Wait, more time for water? Nah, 26 minutes is too darn close. We'll take you. You can be my new can. You can be the can I leave behind. Um, possibly. Okay, here we gotta get caught, caught up. Oh man, I think you lasted about 21 days longer than I would have. I don't, as soon as I see anybody using the, do I have, can I make it? Can I fudge this out? Haha. -ha. I'm wasting time on that. Mushrooms, go! Okay, can't add fuel unless I break down a torch, or at least I'm not getting my I'm not getting my sticks worth. Look at my new bow, and my three arrows. Oh, that's some ammo there. Get to chase that around. I cannot wait to see my first arrow run away. I got the well-fed bonus and I'm just sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, the caves are creepy in this game. In Subnautica, the caves are all underwater. What is up with that? Okay, we're gonna drop that extra torch. Because that is definitely extra. I only have two arms, right? Right? Right. Yeah, Pest, this is a... 
Teresa. She started in PV and was completely outfitted in the first five minutes. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Can you eat trees? No, but you can go outside and scream at the wind if you'd like. I'd actually like you to go scream at the wind a bit. Uh, you know, what I'm not doing is making arrows. Because I was making teas. Give me that. Go over here. Oh yeah, burn up some calories with the sprint button. Right? Oh yeah, we've looked at all of this. None of this was locked. Ah, There is no food. And then I was not interested in the gun about rifles. Gun about rifles. It's a book. It's a book about rifles. Specifically rifles. I love the small arms. Small arms handbook. It makes me say, bro, do you even lift every time I see it? Maybe not out loud, but I... What are we doing, a bow? What are you? Oh, you're Captain No Feathers. All right. You're giving away all your feathers. Whew. Uh, so, if I was in a blizzard in PV, how long do you think... Like, hypothetically, would it last? Because she's been at this for a while now. I'm gonna save some calories and have a nap. Alright, Blizzard and well-fed bonus. Goodbye, well-fed bonus. I... you got nothing. But I am trying to get up to the mountain today, so never underestimate the uh, the power of the nap. Wow, man, this has been like I woke up. It was dark. It was dark this morning and doing this. I'm not tired enough. Well, I'm need a horse. tired of the blizzard. We're done with the well-fed bonus. It looks like. Ugh. Well, now you, you've done your work. You can stop. With games like this, I wonder if it's stuck. You know, it, it, you're going to be like, well, let's go work on that. There we go. The blizzard just needed to last long enough to uh, make me starve. Let's go over to the barn and then head over to the uh, head over to the barn and then go over to the um, draft dodgers and such. Unless, of course, it starts to blizzard again. Knock on wood. Sir, a... no. Okay. Maybe just down here there's a little snack, but I did come this way, so I might have grabbed the snacks on the way. Yep, looks like. Perhaps there's a snack walking around in this field. That would be good. Hey, Steve! Only two likes. <laughs> well, you know, they might not like what they're seeing. There might be some people who are just like, yeah, I'll watch it, and I'm not going to like it. Oh boy, uh, it's just right after a blizzard, you know, it's it's almost a good time to get out walking around because nothing spawned yet. But if you're starving and could really use a deer, uh, it's not exactly the best time to be out walking around. It's not a deer, it's a rock. Wishful thinking. My imagination put antlers on that rock.
So yeah, I won't be spending my night in the uh, in the barn here. We're just gonna kind of do a quick run through, grab what we can, and take off to draft dodgers. Well, this was nice though. Nothing, nothing happening. Hey, Beatles in. We got Steve. Actually, Slip Gear stopped in last night too. That was pretty cool. So we do have the garage parties here. That's nice. That's nice. Let's put a lantern out there. I'm hoping we'll run into some fuel shortly. Okay, so Pleasant Valley is definitely the land of the toolbox. Grab my whetstone. That's a nice. Let's see what, I, what, what what am I gonna get here? Usually not much. Ooh, a note. Obviously not meant for me, but I'll still steal it that way and cause my own chaos. Hey, somebody shoveled out the back of this truck. Now, yeah, good on them. Oh, dusty dissolver. Can't say I'm going to need that anytime soon. Garage crew is in the house. Outside of the emergency kit. So I've been filling in my non long dark playing time with uh, a really long involved game called Hearts of Iron. Not Hearts of Iron 4 like anybody else who's normal would play, but Hearts of Iron 2, which had just enough of the, uh... oh, I'm running out of fuel here. There's my dog food. It had just enough of the same setup as Hearts of Iron 1. We're not going to eat that right now. We got some walking to do. I think I can use this. Uh, no, you can't, but you can leave that here. It was just enough like Hearts of Iron 1. Ah! You were supposed to stick the landing on the... Sorry, guys. Let's put this out and go for a walk. And Vito's got beer. Good man. Good man. Ironically, I have Corona. Or unironically. Or whatever you would say. Coincidentally, that's the right word. Because that's what it is. Sounds like the bear is just over to my left. Which means he's not home. Which means I can go and steal all of his Precious, precious birch bark. After hopefully this moose lets me steal all of his cattails because he's not home. The sun is setting. A lot colder soon. But if we run into a moose, we're eating it. I mean, not the whole thing all at once, but definitely camping out. And then I'll fight for it. You betcha. 
You gotta start walking through areas where they have sticks on the ground. Okay, so I feel a little bit better now that I for sure have enough food to get through a night without getting poisoned. I'm ignoring the deer because he's not really on the way. Okay. Always got to save yourself some for later. And even even two cattails sometimes Do I, if I don't pull them up really makes the, the difference. Hey, buddy. How's it going? We're going this way. Into the most scary spot in the world for me. Like, there's places I don't like so much. Like Pleasant Valley. But... How do you like somebody that keeps punching you in the face, you know? You try to get along, but he just face punches you. Every chance he gets. So eventually you're like, you gotta stay out arm's length. Arm's reach of the guy, because your face is sore. So, you know, Pleasant Valley and Desolation Point are my... <clears throat> it's like, I'm going in here, I might as well just punch myself in the face. Get it over with. But this birch forest scares the living daylights out of me. I can't, I don't know what it is, but I can't see, I can't, I, and there's bear in there with me and you can hear it. And sometimes there's a moose in here with you. And, and it, these are gigantic animals, you know, weighing close to a ton and uh, you're, what? You can't see him? And because the consequences of not seeing said animal that weighs close to a ton are so severe, you know. Oh, I got my sprain risk. That means I've got just enough sticks. Just enough. Okay. I have to remember the guy at the blind doesn't have the full set, right? For a guy who was complaining about giving away his feathers earlier. Uh, where are we at here? We gotta give you a torch and a stone. Transfer one. And some water. There we go. So he's got all four. Perfect. Well, it's nice that it's a clear night, but I still don't like it's like now it's dark in the forest. Mm -mm. Not fun for me. Okay, so this again. Uh, we need a torch. We need a stone. We need a water. I gotta get up to the plane crash. And you need a feather. Which, uh, I gotta actually... I gotta pre-plan the actual plane crash. But that's the place I started, and that's why I'm so well set up, so... I do kind of owe the people a visit. So yeah, I'm ceremoniously leaving items on every person. I think at first glance people would think uh, maybe there's a serial killer at work because he's leaving the same things on all his victims. But forensics would be like, well, unless the guy cleverly dehydrated and froze to death a bunch of people. He's not he's, this is, he's not the killer. But in this case, she. Oh! Man! My cat with a cone, I tell you. He's not happy. He was wearing like a saddlebag on his side there. It had all filled up. The wound had all... Like, see, I can hear him. I can hear him. I can't see him. 
He weighs a ton. There he is. Son of a gun. I would have walked right into him. Then we would have both had a bad day. Him less than me. Oh, wait, no. I got my bow. And I got my flare gun. I'd shoot him. But yeah, my cat, uh... So on Friday, my cat had this operation done. And, uh... He, he's gray, so now my, my vet now calls him a little elephant because his skin is so thick that she was struggling to put the sutures through the skin on his side. I mean, he's a little... I think he's built for wound in that guy. So, uh... My wife explained, because my wife was in the operating room because she's the vet tech at my vet, so... You get a detailed explanation of your, of your, uh, your pet's wound when uh, it's over coffee after work, right? So, she says, uh, yeah, it was uh, a horrible wound and uh, we unfortunately noticed it a little, it left her a little long for just a, hey, come on in, oh, we got you. You know, he had to get antibiotics, he had to get, uh, you know... It's, I mean, it's never really a tough time uh, economically for me to take care of my pet, even if I'm not working. Yeah. They're not disaster artists, right? They're, they usually take good care of themselves. Where am I? I swear I'm close to where I need to go to get in this draft dodger's cabin. And then we can drink and eat and be merry and all that. But yeah, it, it, uh, it got infected pretty badly and, and they, they had to open him up and clean it all out stitch him back up but they did like uh the gash was like about an inch and a half to two inches long on his side and on a cat it's pretty catastrophic right yeah this is where i'm going right yeah there's a rope there's a little hut that you can't see okay so sorry um i'm gonna keep getting distracted but uh but uh the reason we think it's the same cat that did this to the gray cat that did it to the orange cat is it's the exact same spot and the exact same wound, except the orange cat didn't get it as badly. He healed up on his own in like four or five days. You know, the wife kept an eye on him. But uh, this guy, holy cow, after he... So they put three stitches in this gigantic gash, not just to hold it closed, but not... Com they didn't suture it, if you know what I mean because uh, the idea is oh lantern flu fuel I I'm running low but the idea is to let this huge saddlebag on his side drain into that and it didn't do that at all on Saturday and so my wife took him back to you know, bring your kid to work day and uh, wow that's nice there's a candy bar under here. I'm set. Oh, well. Complimentary soda. Complimentary soda. So she took him into work. and The vet was like, no, that saddlebag will go. Yeah, but if it's if it doesn't, on Monday, I'll put a drain in it. <sighs> it's all just stuff I don't even like, like trying to envision. I'm like, oh, honey, I could not do your job. She's like, oh, you could totally do my job. Right up until it came time to euthanize somebody's pet. And I'm like, you know, hey, you are totally right. Let's stop talking about it right now. Because I was tearing up instantly. Just the thought of me having to tell somebody I'm going to have to kill your dog. Like, oh. Whew. So she does that. And good on her. Man, I should have saved some room. I did save some room. I only drank a soda. Turns out I'm smart by being dumb after all. But yeah, on Sunday, his little saddlebag started to empty. And that is... That's... That's like something out of aliens.
and he tried to take his cone off to clean it. Hey, it's a blizzard. I tried to take, look at him, fully healed. Love it. Love, you know, that 2T combination is deadly. But yeah, I tried to take his cone off to clean it, but then I had to pull his head off the wound because he instantly was like, and I was like, hey, stop that. And he was not listening to me. He was in it. He was definitely. I will wear the nicer mitts. I got to do some uh, jacket work. Maybe I'll tear that down. All right. Actually, you guys are going to get. I don't want to get. Yeah. Get, get out of here. Without a face punch. All right. Uh, we're going to just pass time. I'm going to make a bandage now, which will take about 20 minutes. Sip. Okay, that's enough drinking. Uh, this icon. And this icon. Bandage. Begin the crafting. I am going back to work this week, yes. On Wednesday. Oh, I have seven. Seven birch bark is not eight. Well, you know what? Timberwolf Mountain is made of birch bark. Half that mountain is birch bark. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's switch these mitts out. The decent for the decent. How good are these? Let's throw a repair into those. I've never been so hungry in my life. Even though she's never been so. Uh, you know what, Pleasant Valley? Uh, you can. Uh... Pleasant Valley, you can. That's it. That's the last temper tantrum from Pleasant Valley I'm putting up with. We're leaving. It's just going to do this until it's dark and I can't see. It knows I'm streaming. It's like, yeah, we'll try to have an audience with pitch black screen. It's trying to force me to be entertaining. I don't know. I don't have a bunch of great jokes. Oh my! He was practicing his his uh, his practical effects, eh? Hey, Pike. Actually, you know what? I thought Pike was already here. We, we do we do have... It is the garage crowd, right? We've got everybody. It's like Beetle and, 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 and Pest and, and uh, Pike and like Dave and Magic. It's everybody, right? That's normally at the party. So, that is awesome. I even, I even edited my uh, thing so it doesn't say I'm playing Green Hell anymore. Uh, you know, there's no wolves. Just be starving. Too, too encumbered to climb. What are you doing picking up sticks? All right, here, eat some stuff. All right, all right, all right enough of drinking. three people to hold down the guinea pig, eh? Yeah. Actually, my, my wife does a lot of, of dog and cat and and other wrestling of animals. She's been face smashed before with dog teeth. Like, not, you know, where they bite, but where they open their mouths and turn their heads and use them kind of like a battering ram. 
She's had some some adventures that were like borderline going to the gym and getting getting into a boxing match. Okay, we got a feather. We have a torch. No, we don't. Ugh. The non-compliant guinea pig. All right, we'll be back here. There's a disaster up here we gotta fix. This whole bringing a torch to every single uh, dead body is actually a lot more work than I thought it was. The water also, but I'm always kind of carrying water. I'm not always carrying a torch. I think uh, loons would probably have an easier time with this one. He's got some, he's got some torches. I'm not gonna not take advantage of these sticks. It's funny. Last night, slip gear stopped in and was like, "Oh, there's sticks right over here if you want." Right over that hill. Uh-oh. Don't put me up on Skeeter's Ridge and then have the blizzard stop. I can drop any of this Apple. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, Michael's not in. Uh... Yeah, my, and it's not like my wife's like some sort of like, uh, like, you know, mafia hitman style, you know, she doesn't come back and robotically tell me about her day. This stuff will come in handy. I don't think it'll come in handy. That might come in handy. That might, might come in handy. We're hoping for good socks and a thin wool sweater. This can come with me. I'm just going over to the... Uh... Alright, so fingers crossed. Wool socks, thin wool sweater. Boom! Ragged t-shirt. I went all the way to Skeeter's Ridge and all I got was this crappy shirt. Okay. So. We're not trying again for the, uh, the well-fed bonus, but... We don't want to lose any condition, so I'm just looking at that. Alright, let's grab a sleep. Oh, you woke up and well, you weren't conscious, conscious, but your body woke up, Dave, and you were like, "All right, everyone, you want to break my nose? I'll show you nose breaking." And the thing is about about the thing is about vet techs and stuff like that is, uh, and anybody in the medical field is. When Dave woke up and decided to pick a fight with the entire staff or whatever, it was thrashing around. No, I'm not saying he was up with his dukes out, but you know, he was fighting a surgery. They probably just looked at each other and were like, okay, shrugged their shoulders and held the man down. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing what, what uh, people can get used to, right? Like, my wife, though, she does say, like, there should, like, you know, she'll have a tough day with you know many many uh you didn't even get a placeholder i must have found you first i did find you first i just came out of the plane the plane of plenty so this guy needs a torch yeah okay so this is what the first area i ever really came to so there's the plane over there you can't see it take my word for it it's it's messed up it's all in parts and pieces, but I have to get up in there and uh, get uh, get the stuff for the people, you know. The side? Oh no. We will be back this way, though. I'll come back and check that. I'm not gonna. I prefer to come back this way. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, okay. I prefer to come back this way and then go. So we'll hit Skeeter's Ridge again. I'll remember that. So I did not look. Now, I was lost in a blizzard in PV.
eventually, if you keep walking one direction, right, you come to a... I'm pretty sure I'll see a hunting blind eventually. Just have a momentary lapse of of uh, awareness. I don't think I'm going to come into a Oh no. This is the road. Okay, no, no, we can go down to the point of disagreement. Right? I think. Right, because those are the hills. Did I get completely turned around? That's just disastrous. Just about anything right and now. she's thirsty. Oh, look, a stick. Okay, well, I found the point of disagreement, and it turned out I wasn't on... I was on that road. I kind of wanted to find this road, actually. Hey, fella. You get a can opener as a placeholder. We'll be back with torches and feathers and water and stones. I didn't leave him the can opener. I gave him nothing. He at least gets the feather there. Well, this is kind of nice because I know I won't get accosted by a wolf while I do this. The only thing chewing on me is hypothermia risk and um, thirst and hunger. She's all the things bad. This is me in a car, reading comments. All right. Yeah, that seven days to die is a real... I'm going to make uh, some videos this afternoon of seven days to die. Probably two in a row, because once you get hooked in, you really get hooked in. Right? So, I'll end up playing for a couple hours, even though I'll be like, Well, oh, I'll play for like 45 minutes, and then I'll go and do some... Nope. No, I won't. No, I won't. I know me better than that. Why did I not pick up the candy bar? I guess I just like being inside of cars. Candy bar. Brand new. With the matches. And the... Maybe I didn't get in this car. Painkillers and this granola... What? Were you uh, grocery shopping? Get the most food I've ever seen in the long dark in a car. Okay. Bit of a tough move, we gotta kinda go up over the hill. But if as long as I keep going this direction, I will find what I'm looking for. It's a lot harder to find in the dark though. Like in the bl in a blizzard in the dark, it's almost impossible. I almost got pepper killed out here. I mean eventually I got pepper killed. There's no way around that, but she had to use a stem just to get out of here. Okay, so I think, uh, is that my tree? That's, no, that's the first one. This is, this is our hump of rock we want to go around here. Right? Pretty sure? If it's not, it's close. Okay, it's not. I don't think. Oh, it is. Okay, there we are. Okay. It was doing that whole look familiar, but wasn't familiar. All right. Well, we're 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 we are poised to ascend the mountain. Look at that! Another cooking pot. I won't be taking it with me because they're heavy, but. I like the one pot, one can. 
uh, for carrying capacity. But if I ever, but if I start a fire out here at that stove, let's just yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of a. I'm gonna get run inside here and warm up and get 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 unblizzarded. Yeah, see, I don't know why it's only going up at 28. Sometimes it's going up at like three, but 2.8 seems to be the. Max, I can get. Okay. Okay. Let's let's check that inventory. Because I mean, we hit the jackpot when it came to food. I got beans. I got cattail stocks. I got chocolate. There we go. You don't need to be dying of stuff anymore. We'll go have her a nap and then we'll uh, have to research this, of course. One time I did find a box of rifle rounds in there on Not Stalker. It was a challenge. Hopeless Rescue or something goofy. We'll save those for after the nap. And that's sleep for two hours. I can't imagine my clothes are dry. I have a sip of my coffee. No, I got pretty soakered out there. But if I... That's all you think about is food. You're a hungry girl. Now, did you just climb two ropes in a blizzard, or was that my imagination? Sometimes there's, for weird reasons, there's like a saw on one of these shelves. I think, like, either that one or that one. No, that one. Oh, a lock right injector. Which, when I've I've found the hammer up top, and then they come down here, and you find a, a hacksaw almost immediately, it, it pretty much turns me right around, and I go and summit again. Let's go have a fire out in the nice Pleasant Valley weather. We'll 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 let Pleasant Valley know that we still we may not you know like it, but we we understand. It's just doing its job. I almost want to set that on fire. I'm disappointed. Wait a second. Did I? I have not had the time or calories to be reading. And I did not. I would have given the, the torch away. So, I don't have a torch. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Cattail light cedar. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, little fire. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Oh, she's chatty. Chatty this afternoon. Oh, yeah. She usually doesn't say anything like, Oh, wow, I really enjoy this food, or... All right. Two quick pots in a microwave, or a microphone, microwave. Oh, yeah, see, can't even. I'll screw that up, too. Okay, water, couple of liters, couple of liters. Cook those up. Don't have a good tea. Uh, what do I have that'll hydrate me? Dog food. But I don't want to, and I don't want to use, well, you know what, we are climbing, we're climbing a mountain.
crouch down so I just lower the uh, risk of getting attacked. Let's drop these. They'll warm up. How far are we off of our weight? Ooh, it's at three and a half liters, you know? plan plan is go over to the corner here oh I'm not dropping that one I'm gonna hold on to the good one Actually, let's do that again. Let's throw on both. Boop, bop, boop, bop. Yep. Throw on two waters. Oh, she's still hungry. Uh, there's a bunch of these up there, too. There you go. Save yourself some time. Drink, drink yourself some water. We'll get her down to where she needs to be as far as weight goes so we can scale up this mountain. I'll leave some water down here. Sleep for two. You betcha. You betcha. Hot beans, hot beans. We got an hour? Okay, let's sleep for an hour. Then we've got the energy to get up this blasted rope. I think she'd still love horses even if she ate one. Might be a bit of a sad dinner, but hey, you know what? Let's not let that burn out. Let's take that. And then drop some more torches here. So that I've got some torches for the plane crash and for holy why am I pulling all the world's greatest torches? All right. Plane crash, skeeters, that sort of thing. Um, gonna leave a couple of books behind because they don't go bad. And I'm at cooking level two already. Drop. Okay, so you are an extra. Um, we're not going to start a quilting club up there. Um, a kilogram of rocks can stay here with the torches. I want to take the lantern. I like the, like the lantern. Um, cured green. Cured. Oh, that'll go up, up top too. Food. Water time. Water time. Let's drop some of that. 
four liters looks about right. Have a drink. Top up while we're at it. Firewood. 18 sticks. It does it. Let's climb the rope. It's impossible to see. Welcome to our turkey steam stream. Pretty much... You just, I'll make a bunch of noises with my feet and let your imagination fill in the rest. Like, this is, it's like, well, he's walking somewhere. Oh, he's making the rope climbing noise. Like, have fun storming the castle. All right. Enjoy your nap, Dave. Never underestimate the power of a nap. Ugh. <sighs> It's like, can't anyone tell a two o'clock conference call is not good for somebody who has an Australian accent and lives there? <laughs> right. Poor guy. Here, wake up. Ah, oh, well, circumstances, right? Anyway, let's get on up this hill. Yeah, the half fun storm in the castle, that is actually... <laughs> That's, uh, I own that movie. You know, we don't live in a world where you buy movies very often anymore, but I own that from back in the day. Got my, there was a bunch of them I bought all at once, not all at once, but every Christmas I would give my wife another one of those kind of movies, like, you know, The Princess Bride, uh, The Three Amigos. Yeah, these were all movies she hadn't seen, but are a ton of fun. Like The Three Amigos? Oh my God. That's a male plane? I mean, like, how can you tell? Couldn't you see the little balls? And then they... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Martin Short was the best out of the three in that one. I don't get me wrong, funny guys, all of them, but uh, <sighs> oh, Martin Short's character was the only one who hadn't, you know, slept outside ever, you know, that sort of thing. He was like a he was a he was a child star in that too, right? So he just made the transition right on through. So he'd never lived like most of his common. This is in the 1900s. Well, you guys have seen Red Dead Redemption 2. It was exactly like that in the 1900s. Exactly. People standing on top of bridges, lassoing people off their horses. Oh, wild times, wild times. Well, uh, surprise, I'm streaming and it's dark and foggy. If we're lucky, we'll get stomped by a moose that comes at us out of the fog. Don't want to be late for that. I better run. Princess Bride, you betcha. Yeah, Princess Bride. Now... I was one of those weird people. When that movie came out, there was like, it was almost like uh, Skyfall or whatever when they, the, the song on the radio was the song of the movie. It was Lyle Lovett. I don't know what the actual song was, but Lyle Lovett. And because of that song, Lyle Lovett became rather rather popular right like you know he was known but that was like a that was a mainstream tune so there was a lot of hype around the movie when I was a kid right because it was like 12 when that 12 or 13 when that movie came out but because I was a poor kid I was not I know where I am now even in the fog because I was a poor kid I wasn't going to the theater. 
I had a paper route to keep up and money to stash. Because even though I was, I was, I wasn't, I wouldn't say poor. I would say frugal. But I read the book. I read the book about, and then it came out on uh, VHS, and we rented it. Holy cow! I first heard about it. The story came down the telegraph line. See, yeah. See this this game is trying to make me entertaining. And I'm talking about me as a kid on VHS. We went to return uh, Fight Club. A few years later, I went to return Fight Club and the... Uh, we'll leave you guys for later. And the, uh, the video store, slightly ahead of the curve, had closed. Probably because of things like people holding on to Fight Club for an extra two weeks. It was like finally after all the calling and all the, the crap uh, of got the 20 year old motivated to finally go back to the video story. I, I, video story. I was telling wacky tales about being in my 20s last night. I gotta stop that. You're going to think I'm some sort of degenerate party animal. How warm are... Oh, I, was, I thought my clothes would still be a little bit wet, but I did sleep a couple hours by that fire. All right, here we are. We're at the home sweet hut. We made it, guys. See, there's nothing going on on the bloody screen. It's black blobs. Long dark. Very disappointed in you. We have to light a fire now. It's... I'm looking at the, the, the screen. There's nothing there, guys. You're such a good group of people. I've never met a more patient group of people in my life. Let's start a fire so at least we can hang out by a fire. I don't need the fire. I'm putting the fire down so that we can all see because this game likes to take place mostly... Think about his food. Mostly in pea soup blackness. Now, usually when an early game like this, I'm already, I'm coming down. If I'm outfitted like this, I'm coming down from the mountain, not going up it. But I'll be going up, which is just really neat. We have that horrible sports vest. Hey, dog food. That is actually, oh, a new dog food too. That's a good, that's a good find here. That's some serious calories. And I've got can opener. So. Holy matches, Batman. We'll have to leave probably about a half kilogram of matches behind before we go up. Oh, good, good. There you go. At least you trust me. What you were getting visually was way worse than what you were hearing. Look at all those sticks I brought with me. I guess it wouldn't. Have, and now, now I know why I didn't. Why I wanted to bring that other pot because I thought about it, but I'm like, nah, it's too heavy. I'm gonna stick with my classic. Oh, you're on a half day, Mike. Yeah, I just um, lit a fire because. Uh, 
the fact that all of my viewer viewers were watching a black screen was was to me absolutely amazing i can't and Vito just was like well i'm sorry man i was not watching your lousy black screen i was just doing other things and listening to you instead it's like oh good because you were not seeing much foggy and dark it's like the game's like well we'll blizzard during the nice parts of the day forcing them to walk in dark fog or just playing blizzards nobody can see crap it's like well I'm making long dark videos to show other people not to to hide the movements I the reason I'm making up some extra water here is I do want to drop some water here yeah three liters of good that'll be good just to so when I come back we've got water all right now we get serious about sleeping she would eat anything about now wait how healthy is she uh, if she was full of of health right now I would feed her that sketchy dog food yeah 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 you missed this long involved black screen of me trudging around Now, with the clothes I've got, warmth bonus of 13, chances of me getting getting too cold in this place are pretty slim. But to be on the safe side, I'm only going to sleep for six hours. So I got back here and I instantly just started a fire because... It seemed really just lame. I because I, I was looking over at the screen and I can see because I can see my own stream, and I'm like I look over and I'm like, that is a little square of blackness going on there. There is nothing going on, so the fire had to happen. All right, let's put on another two liters of water. Nope. There. Yep, that's where that goes. I'll get us another couple hours of sleep. We'll throw on some stick time. Oh, and some cedar. We'll throw it all on. Because now it's it's going to be daylight soon, so. And we'll sleep for two. I, you know what? The amount of times I was like... I thought that would be an amazing skill to have. You know, it just would be. It's like, I'm going to go to sleep for an hour. And you would. It'd be like, it's almost a superpower. You know what we should do? Make up a couple of teas. I do have a couple of teas, but... don't have a herbal whoa it got red all right that's not gonna happen in time and it's best to leave this stuff until you need it I think I thought I could break down everything in here okay so what do you think? That's four hours? Not even. Not even three. But here's another thing. Yes, I do I do need to do some pants fixing. But I'm not an overweight right now. Um and I do I should take off like immediately. I'm starving. But she's hungry. And I am gonna try to go for the well fed on the way up. So this should get you to your to your next deer carcass, lady. Oh, stop that, stop that. Right? Now, do I have anything to cook my deer carcass? No, I do not. But I can leave half a kilogram of matches here. We're only taking one book.
I have no other alternate fire starting source because I never went to the uh, Mystery Lake camp office. We'll read about sewing. I think that's the important thing to read about while you're up there. I've got three pieces of tinder and an odd piece of birch bark because that's how I like to roll. Overall weight, 27. And two and a half kilograms, I can handle that. Should I hunt this? No, I should not hunt this deer. So it doesn't matter to me if it's sunny or not. Just Ooh, maybe I'll find it in the cave. Yeah, you know, the cave on the way up. Ooh, leather gloves. Good thing to know. Good for boot fixing. Good for boot fixing. I'll take it. You know, you will not take the stone. That was a lousy thing for somebody to put in a drawer. Just got your expectations up a little too high, I think, there. That was mean. Here you go. Here's a rock. First stick of the day. First stick of the day. Cold sky under an uncaring sun. Is that how it goes? Hey, Pike. Oh, man. Have a good one, bud. I gotta, I actually, tomorrow is my day, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is my last day of my quarantine because I got a cold and then we go back to work. And it is as business as usual. Because if the entire economy shut down, the place I work at is so far behind, they owe people bearings. Or stuff. It's, oh, oh, oh. They owe people stuff. So it'll take them a long time to get to their... That's right. I put stuff in a bag. Parts. And uh, apparently that's essential. So they had to pack 300 of us into a building every day. And then double up on the shifts, so instead of where it was staggered by half an hour, now everybody works together? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I was amazed anyway. I was like, really? This is your solution? So instead of having 100 people show up at a time at work, you have 300 people show up at the same time. Hmm. I see how you're working it. All right, did I do, did I even that out? Let's stop picking that stuff up for a second. Get him. See what's in this. And then we get coffee in our top part. We're good. And I've got a bag, so we can sleep. Yes, that would be great. 100% fire starter. Wait, I'm curious, though. How's my saw? Okay, okay. It's all right. I can get the stuff up top. Is that the deer I want? That's not the deer I want. The deer I want is over around the corner if he's there. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, it's weird because Australia is doing it in a way that's like, um, they're basically doing it corporately, relying on the companies to get through and then, and then call the, call the loss in on their taxes sort of thing, which is a sort of, you know, I guess a free market approach to, uh, unemployment it, um, whereas you know here we all pay unemployment insurance if, you, if you've got a job you got to pay into your pension the health care you, you're paying into everything right your federal and everything else provincial taxes 
So you're losing about 40, 40 cents on the dollar usually for take home pay. Anywhere from 30 to 40 cents, depending on your bracket, right? Oh, well, let's do this properly. There we go. 29 matches on me now. What was that 60 back at the hut? Better not burn that. But yeah, they you know they're offering to you know give rent and all that and stuff. It's, you know, and for for me, it's none of it's really necessary. I'm not gonna really miss out on any work. I'm not gonna. Um, yeah. It, it, it won't affect other than other than this this brief break I got because I was I had a cold fire. and they've got this policy where if you're sick and they don't know what it is you can't come in I even check to see what this guy's got oh good good he's got at least a meal on him so that's how I ended up home was I caught a cold and they're like well stay away from us all right I'm not sure I can carry much more our our actual previous government provincially the provincial government we've got our basically our our province and our federal right and then you've got your local but our provincial government they 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 enacted this really really excessive sick leave program or at least i found it excessive it was you got 10 days off a year on sick leave plus no not plus you got 10 days a year on sick leave you could call i think you got three emergency family days on top of that and two of those sick days the employer had to pay you so you could take 13 days off of work in a year and at like 13 different, like you could take more days than that, but you could take 13 different intervals of sickness off in a year, which I found to be a little excessive. That's not, I mean, if you're that sick, then you shouldn't be trying to work. You should be trying to get better. You get sick that often. Like you should be doing some immune system push-ups or something. So, but then the new government came in and decided that three sick days was good enough. None of them paid. And I'm like, hey, wait a second. That's not even, you know, it's not even rational. Suddenly three sick days. Because then I'm looking at I'm looking at the guy who made the rule and I'm like, well, how many days a year do you take off because of whatever you want? Nobody's going to make you lose your job. It was kind of, that was kind of a rough thing. I was like, well, no, and that, that was not, believe me, that was not on his, uh, well, let's actually do this properly. Let's, let's take a page out of the book of loons back. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's not that. And that's not Loon just doesn't do that. There, that's what Loon's does. He drinks a hot drink before he starts a long walk. But yeah, that was not part of his uh, campaign platform. Was I'm going to take away seventy percent of your sick days? Because I would have been on board with fifty percent. You know, five days out of the year. Okay. Now you're only working 200 of them. Anyhow, that's enough me talking work and politics and complaining. Because you notice I didn't say which one was the reds and which ones was the blues and which ones was the... It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Seems like one party spends all your money and the other party takes all your money. So it doesn't matter. You don't... You're not winning. It's like, I went with these guys. I brought those damn saplings with me. Green saplings, guys. Look 
There you go. Yeah, we get three days of sick and two vacations or two day, two weeks of vacation. I'm pretty sure they're trying to figure out how they can make this my quarantine two weeks of vacation for me, though. Pretty sure they're going to be looking at that. Okay. okay. What do I have that's so darn heavy? I think I got a, got a belly full of meat. That's why I'm so darn heavy. He picking up sticks like a champ, too. And wood. Okay. Stones. Well, you're going to run into a corpse soon? No, not till the up top. Uh, pry bar. Why do I have a pry bar on me? It's a pry bar in the barn. Can we go back through the barn? Yeah. I got to go back through the barn. Okay. We'll just put this out because I'm fully warm. And, uh, yeah. There's no prying up there. The sapling dryer. Oh, this will be the old uh, coming down the hill with two broken ankles. You know, that hill over there. Look at that. You can actually see the plane sticking out the top there of the mountain. And that's the exact exit road I'll be, t I'll be over there in a little bit. Second, guys. Shut this mic down here. Yeah, I sat here for, what, five minutes talking about politics, but Pess pretty much sums up in one sentence the whole tirade I was making in five minutes. That's a, you gotta love a direct talker, man. Because, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't seem to matter where you're from, what your cultural background is. If you know anything about politics, then you should know. And that's... The value is value is negligible on those folk. Just tell the wolf you know the way. Come on. Let's go for a walk. That's right, you know what? I swear half of it's just, they're just doing it for their own entertainment. So afterwards they can walk off and go, you see how scared they were? I am one tough animal. Hey buddy. This is a great, this would be a great place to actually hunker down and get a deer. I will admit. Even like, like even if I don't cook them all, this guy by the door is really making it easy on me. If I, If I stand up, will he run in the cave? Nope, he'll run right for me. That was poorly played. Because I could have stood there and shot him. Okay, anyway. Let's, enough hunting. Enough of me being bad at hunting. Stop in here and have a little nap. Yeah, there's wood here and everything. It's a perfect place. Cool. Oh. And I baffed it. Have yourself a nap. 
four hour nap. It should be just sunset. The nap of shame. Ugh. We're eating dog food. Didn't even get poisoned. Beans and molasses with bits of what looks like pork. It's the look that's important, you know? If your beans don't look a certain way. Uh... I do have the resources to stay here. If I go to sleep now, it still won't be worth a darn to see in six hours, but hopefully I, if I do sleep, I'll wake up at the cold part of the night. So if I start to freeze, yes, yes, I was just being fair. Gotta be fair. Okay, you woke up fully rested. Now, magic, that is a superpower. Fully rested. I I don't think I've ever woken up fully rested. All right, let's drink some water. It's not hurting at all. It's fairly warm in here. We can do the classic cheese it of uh, past time for three. Actually, we should stop for a second. Just to see here. Oh, I can read. Well then, let's do that. Hey, Slip Gear, how's it going? Totally missed you in the chat line, and you're the only guy coming up purple, so I, I don't know why. Still not getting cold. I'm learning all about the sewing. You know, I'm sure it's a page turner. Ooh, it's getting a little cold now. All right. Fully rested. Magical term. Magical. Let's grab one of these emergency pieces of coal. Let's grab two pieces of emergency coal. Just in case there's an actual emergency. Eat one of these. Start my day out right. With some salads. Some fiber. I'm going to leave the wood here. And the stones. One of these deer is going to get shot one of these days. You mark my words. Actually, what did I open that? Yeah, sixty nine percent. Five is about forty percent upstairs. Hmm, I don't think so. I was gonna open this. It's not really there's no real point to it. Now, is it getting nicer or is it getting worse? Usually never gets nicer. Okay, so we've got a wolf and a deer in front of us. Don't think the two are going to run into each other. No, the wolf's kind of going away from where I want to go, so that's good. I'm going to take the, uh, the pest path up the, uh, the old mountain here.
Running, running, running. Should get a wolf bark soon. He was just here. Like, I can hear him walking around. He can't hear me with those big satellites on the sides of his head. Satellite dishes, sorry. Satellites. Come on, I know the way. He's like, I'm not interested in your shenanigans. Dude, this is not the way you want to go. I ended up a little bit low here. And now, I believe I am slightly screwed. I am you want to hit the top of that rock for sure. But we can get we can we can get back on track here, I'm sure of it. You need to find some place to climb the hill properly. What are you doing? Oh, you're chasing a deer. Aren't you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Round two. Round two. Oh, he was chasing the deer. Now he's chasing me again. He didn't find it funny the first time. Okay, yes. That's right. You got to go a little higher up here. That's right. And then you can go across. I was on the wrong, wrong set. Oh, well. Yeah, I swear I've done it around this way. Yeah, they're okay. Okay, it's this guy. Snow if the hypothermia yes, I was down there, but you don't want to be down there. There we go. All right. Probably would have saved as much time had I gone the long way. It, that's probably the first time that has not worked for me. Well, yeah, this is the thing. Uh, I know, I know, Bass didn't invent this one. I know, but uh, it's for me. It's source material, right? So, like, I know Miss Gams didn't invent that little shimmy up in the uh, in the Carter Carter Dam area. You know where that deer's dead and all that. You can kind of avoid going down into Wolfland. I know she didn't invent that, but that's where I got that, right? Like that sort of thing, right? So I watch all sorts of people because they've got all the tricks that I can steal. All right, let's get inside where it's warm. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. I didn't. Look at this thing. I didn't find any lantern fuel. So we'll be lighting a torch before you know it. Actually, I was pretty, pretty impressed that I didn't, to be honest. I thought there was a sprain incoming somewhere. Oh man. Weren't you just walking around in circles in the cave, Pest? I think I get my turn now. Well, okay. That's what it looks like when the lantern runs out of fuel on you. Okay, yeah, there's this hole here. Right, and then there's this... Is, that, is this where the dude is? Yes. Sometimes he has a mag lens. Sometimes. Sometimes he has a heavy book. Uh, and a stone. He didn't bring a stone. But that's okay. 
Here's a snow. Yeah, yeah, you'll get some water. One second, one second. There we go, he's got all four. Now, about your water. There you go. <sighs> okay, let's get, let's just go. I do want to continue to explore, but there's not a, it's not like there's a, there's a time limit on my, it's not like I'm like, Ooh, I need a speed run where I make my bow and make my forge and get completely set up and summit all in record time for me. At about two weeks in, I've usually got everything done. I've had some times where it's like day 20 and I still don't have a bow. But I've also had some times where, you know, day eight and I've got a bow. Okay, you can come. Coffee. Got a lot of coffee. You want to go have we'll go have lunch. I have a whetstone. Yes, several. I like the collection, but I will be leaving a couple behind in Timor. Let's go have lunch. Yes, we can have lunch. I was hoping the crows would be here because that means there's a deer here and kind of have lunch and a short nap before we climb up the uh, climb up the old the old rope here. Go ahead, girly. Come on, little fire. Oh, come on now. As riveting as it is to watch me cook a deer. Oh, come on, little fire. Okay. Yeah, what are we? Day 13. Day 13. It was going to be so good. It was going to be a great deer. It still can be a great deer. Darn it. I don't think of this torch will last. I can't feel my hands. But girl can dream, can't she? All right, come on now. Come on. Third chance at a 60 percenter. Stick the landing. <sighs> Why didn't that work? Because the game is just doesn't understand what a 60 percent chance is. You take four swings at a 60 percent chance and you don't hit. It seems to be a zero percent chance. Come on, little fire. Like, then, this in of itself, statistically, is 25. I think there's some inflation going on here. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. Yes. Yeah, all I can think about is food. There we go. Oh, I know, the game is just like... 
What? Can, he's streaming, right? Can we make him a snap in front of other people? Oh, yeah, she's tired. But she's not hungry. I got plenty of water. This is this is not something I would ever do or suggest anyone ever do. Hear that bear down there? I'm glad he can't climb a rope or anything. There we go, we're halfway. Ha-ha, I got them all. All right, let's go climb a rope. And then that's the thing too, it's like, it's like the game's like, ha-ha, you can't start a fire. And then I'm like, yeah, well, watch me and then sleep on the ground. The game's like, I'll get you. I'm gonna throw the world's best Timberwolf Mountain Blizzard you've ever seen. Let's get to the top. Get away from that nice cave and we'll see who's funny. Oh yeah, I got all the energy for this. We've 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 done it on less. We've done it on less. Sleeping outside, go to work is bad. I think it does. Either that or just spending time outside is one of your badges. But I think that's Cold Fusion. I think you've already got that one. It's the uh, hanging out outside in a blizzard. That gets you some... That gets you the, that one feat, which I would like. I would like the less walking in the wind feat. Even though it's... I've heard it's not very, um, you know, it's not extreme. Did you know, I was out going up like this and um, I was right on the edge for weight, right? And I picked up a stick and then walked over to the rope to try to get on it, clicked. And as I was falling off the ledge here, yeah, I read too encumbered to climb. It's like, mm-hmm, I am, aren't I? Survived the fall. <laughs> But, uh, had to go have a rest afterwards. So while I woke up in the farmhouse at the start of this stream, here we are. Tired yet at the summit. There's no, uh, I don't have any match restrictions, so that's nice. I love how the game's like, oh, you got a match restriction? Well, here's a 98% fire striker, Dave. Oh, good times. But here we are at the summit, at the top, on the interloper settings. Of course, I'm going to not get a whole bunch of gear, but it's amazing how little gear you need on interloper to make your day. <laughs> you know, two cans of peaches and a box of crackers, and you're like, oh, look out. I'm surviving for another week. It was it was close though. It, it's also the the fact that the coffee does that. Uh, uh, it reduces your the drag sort of thing, I guess you could say, right? Oh 
No stones. So you have three out of four. Three out of four. I see some stones. Or a stone. Oh, no, there's some. Yep. There's this guy. And the guy underneath the plane, too. So everyone's got to get through. And the guy in the cave. So I'm going to be here for a minute. Oh, hey, Murph. How's it going? Sorry, I didn't realize that it was you that I was reading that for. for. Um, wait, what am I doing? Ah, stone. Yes, yeah, stone. So that way he has all four. Earth, fire, air, and water. All right, guys. I'm like a kid in some kind of store. Oh, a sewing book. That's nice. Okay, so the hammer's not there. This will come in handy. It will. It will. Oh, there's my accelerant matches. Trusty, trusty matches. Ready? Okay, guys. Are you ready? Yes, I know, Slip Gear. The coffee dynamics are wonderful. Okay. Actually, I won't stand here and stare at it. Let's open a couple, but you guys know what to do. Make your call. Make your call. What kind of fire striker am I getting? <laughs> All right. Yep, keep surviving. Rabbit, deer, wolf. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a double down on one of them. Kind of heavy. Hundred percent hacksaw. This looks almost like Dave's. What do you think? Ninety-eight percent. Okay, Yari's got a seventy-eight in. We'll get the. Well, we'll, we'll open the clothing first. Oh, Pest is going 78 too. We got a couple of 78s. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Pretty much the only thing I need in there is the wool ear wrap. Should we all say 78? Let's go with 78. I don't know, guys. I think you guys are borderline psychic. That's a hundred percent, and you know, kid in a sporting kid store. Exactly. Ooh, look at all the crackers. Cracker City. Coffee, coffee, no. And over here, there's it's either empty or food. So, we got them all. Get our emergency stim, find out how much we weigh. And I'll go for a little nap. 69, dude. You can barely walk with this much gear. Do you know what? That is such a good problem to have. There we go. Barely walk. Yeah, I understand why. You're exhausted and humping around that much weight. Now, let's let's drop this guy. So somebody else can come up here and go, oh good, a hacksaw, and then immediately be disappointed by empty cargo containers. So let's eh, this is always a good spot. I think, you know, you can get... Oh, I still need Tinder. Borderline psycho. Sure getting cold. All that deer I ate is gone. Look at that. 70%. But if we're using accelerant, we can use a match. Hmm. <sighs> 
indeed. Let's be fancy. Use an axe. Too tired to think straight. Perfect. That's just the way we like it. I think I will spend the entire night up here. Oh yeah, we're in range of that fire for that limb. Good spot, good spot. Okay, so, so let's eat and sleep and be merry. They're not emergency crackers if there's more than one box. Soda. Might as well go for a soda, right? Okay, good stuff, guys. Just to do that. Nice. I don't think the fire goes out in here. But that's what I think. So, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put on enough. Well, there's, there's enough right now. Get myself some fur, firewood, and that'll get me through the night. No, no, not much longer at all. So we'll sit down. We'll have. Uh, yeah. Do we want to cook some beans? Let's cook some beans. Let's, let's be fun about it. I'm getting tired. That was the one I should have went for. We'll do two cans of beans then. Let's. Oh yeah, look what I have. Oh, I just feel the heat pumping off of that thing. So we gotta get, when we get down below, I gotta go through all the clothing and break down a whole bunch of stuff, get cloth, fix the stuff I have, and leave a stash of cloth up here for my eventual return. <laughs> so tired, that's all that's left. Long, slow process. All right, uh, six hours. Sleep for two because I don't don't trust the wind dynamics up here. So yeah, I'm getting doing doing my push-ups in green hell for that co-op for that co-op co-op time, and I got to do my push-ups in seven days to die so that I can play the game without it being like you can set all my all my seven days to die you can set it all to Benny the Benny Hill theme song and it would pretty much make sense let's let's really gamble with three hours Well, we're still covered. We're still covered. This way I won't die. Oh, 
Well, the sun's coming up. Oh, come on now, game. You're not going to make me walk down this hill in a blizzard, are you? This should go out right away. Oh, any second. Any, any second. There we go. Let's go see this guy. He's worth a visit. We'll struggle our way over here. I might just throw some more wood on there and, uh... Yeah, I know, right? It's like, people are... Uh, who is it was asking about the... I think John was asking about the... Uh, it's like, have you noticed the uh, weather's a little more... It's a little cold? And my, my, uh... My skeg character died in minus 55. I keep saying that because that is unusual. I was only 13 days into a run. And minus 55 seems a little excessive. So he gets some water. What else does he need? He needs that feather. So there's one. Yeah, let's pick up a stick and go back to the plane. We'll get into that fire area and I'll I'll get some cloth together and maybe fix up some of my clothes, get rid of some of this excess weight. Yeah, they really, really love pounding the blizzards at me lately. Like I said, I think it knows I'm streaming and it knows, you know, hey, people love, love the look of this game. So don't let him look around. Like there goes another hour. Blizzard's still just rolling on by. Okay, let's have a soda. Fix our clothes up a bit. That well-fed bonus would come in handy. I'm not even gonna... You know, 20 minutes for one cloth or 45 minutes for one cloth. It's like, oh, no thanks. I haven't found any of the good socks, so I will have to look beside that washer past that. Just... Oh, no. Uh, we'll keep one pair of shoes, not the trail boots, and certainly not the extra... Whoa! Yes, we'll take those. 99%. I mean, I'm wearing 90%ers, but these are... So we'll drop those. Drop those. Keep... Right, keep those so I've got some leather down below. No, I actually have those those gloves so all the shoes can stay. Ragged or ragged. New or worn. Let's not take them off. Let's wear them. Let's just fix them. <laughs> I just read that. Go for a container ride, turkey. Uh, you get two cloth out of that, so it's kind of worthwhile. An extra toque, kind of a keeper. T-shirt. Let's harvest that. All right. I am actually getting pretty good towards that badge if I keep, uh... You wanna fix this? There we go. Still ugly out though, still ugly. Let's, uh... There we go, it's gonna be beautiful by the time we're done reading. It's going to be beautiful.
Well fed bonus. We're good guys. We are good. We're good to go. So let's grab some rocks. I gotta go visit the guy in the cave. Visit the guy in the plane. And then we'll make our way down to to the hut. Because now I've got my well fed bonus. We're good now. Toboggan. Even, yeah, and then that's the thing. If you could sledge and then even at certain times tie the sledge to your back. You know, it's just say a toboggan. Because toboggans really weren't in, in made with the uh, idea of hurtling down a hill, were they? I think they were originally just for dragging something behind you and then some lunatic went, I bet you I could ride this down there. And while well, he was correct, many of the people with broken ankles and such just say, you know, maybe you shouldn't so much. All right, we got a torch, we got a stone, we got some water for him. We got uh, torch, stone, water, feather, feather. Good. There we go. And now we finally have some nice. Yeah, just something to pull behind you with some extra weight in it. And if you run, if you run and then and then stop, you get a sprained ankle. You have to run, then walk, then stop moving forward, or else your toboggan smashes into your legs. I appreciate the extra crow feathers. I am going to have to make some more arrows. I haven't fired a shot with this thing yet. And normally when I make it, as soon as I make it, my run goes right off the rails because I'm out fighting everybody. I hang out here for a second? Yeah, let's do that. We got more than one. Let's do it. But now we're out of water. Now we're not out of water. But we're going to be out of water again because I'm going to give this guy some water. How come you don't have crows? Are they afraid of heights? They shouldn't be. I tried to jump there. Too much green hell. Right, right. Staring at stuff that doesn't help. Okay. Tools. Right. This guy. This guy. And our feather. Rest in peace, my friend. All right, let's get down here. Uh, by down here, I meant like the direction. Yeah, come, come for a nice long walk on the harsh slopes there. It does look so darn pretty, eh? This is why I want to take a walk when it's nice. Yes, a piece of wing would work. Although, I can't imagine that this would be the most wholesome of toboggan rides. You, would, you wouldn't set up and be like, okay, okay. I just need to... I think, 
think here's where I need to lean a little bit to my right. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just straight shot you to your death. That'd be awesome. I mean, it'd be a great way to go, but you'd need a witness. You couldn't be just like, man, was that ever the coolest thing I ever did. What's he doing down there? You see that bear? He's by those containers. Well, now he's behind a tree, but I did not know a bear guarded those containers. Well, there is no container there, but No food up here. Let's get you a soda. They're heavy. And you're thirsty. So, that's a win-win. Top up with one of those to make sure you don't lose your well-fed bonus on the way down the hill here. And we're halfway there. See, I could see tobogganing and say, well, maybe not down that, but down this, you know. You'd know you'd have that nice natural curve to the right, which in theory should protect you from going off the, the cliff at the end. Okay, I'm not a, am I carrying a piece of meat or something? What's up with this guy? Don't do it, home slice. I'll shoot you. I'm not, uh... See, that would be cool if those were the bear crows. I've got two flare guns on me. Like, I will old west style you. What do you think, guys? Do we kill a bear? Where, where are you going? I don't want him to change course. I scared him. In in turn, he scared the rabbits. Ah, I tried. Ooh, row. indeed. Okay, so not one sprained ankle for all that wall walking, guys. I'm sort of losing my mind. See, there's a sapling down there by that wolf. Oh, it's gross. Oh, now I have to go get my arrows. Ah, good enough. Good enough. Thank you. Take that stick while I'm at it. Sounds like there's an angry bear up there. Let's go. Wait. Just in case there was an angry bear down here and I'm hearing that bear and I'm... Yeah, I've done that before. If they get too close here on the ice, one bear walked me around this rock into another bear. I didn't get mauled, but it was a terrifying experience all in all. Hey! We're hunting him. Oh. Oh. Where? But then he runs off until, like, Switzerland. Let's, uh, let's, I, sh I need a food source down here. Ah, 
I need a food source down here, but let's drop off our stuff and get set up and yeah, I've been on for over two hours, so I gotta I gotta go do some stuff for a few minutes. Uh, there will be no nap this evening, so I will be back on it around 8.30, quarter to nine in there. And uh, for you know an hour and a half, and we'll get out of here. Or maybe we'll play something else. I don't know, guys. Think about it. Let me know. I don't mind switching games midstream. Um, there's all my matches. Let's uh, just have a quick nap here so I can save it. Drop off our saplings. Yes, Yari. Let's do that, actually. All right, man. Yeah, everyone have a good one. You too, Michael. Uh, we will drop off our cursed saplings. Drop all. Drop all our extra pelts. Extra guts that we don't need right at the moment. All saplings. Cured or not can go on the floor. Maybe we'll carry one around. Pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Uh, pee drinking McCoy was crazy. All right. Um, yeah, we'll have a soda and sleep for another hour. And that'll save it. And I will see you tonight um, in a few hours. Yeah, if you want to see me play Green Hell or struggle at that for a while, you can. Uh, yeah, man. I hope to see you all later, guys. Come back. Garage is open. Garage is open. Right on, guys. Yeah, we'll play something. So.